Number one, I made a decision that this was it for me, that I was going to walk away from that relationship and never look back. And it was a mind over matter. It was the hardest decision I had to make, but I knew that no one was going to make it for me. I had to make that call and stick to it. Number two, I deleted everything that reminded me of my ex. Um, anything that has uh, tied me to him, whether it's photos, messages, I blocked him off social media. I deactivated all of my social media account because now I have decided that I no longer want to be living life the way I have lived it. Something has to change. And I know in order for my world to change, I need to change from within me. Number three, I sat down with myself. I spent a lot of time with myself and it was very uncomfortable because the only person I was running away from was myself. But I decided that I was going to sit with my inner child and to finally take her into my arms and promise her that I will never abandon her no matter how hard this healing journey was going to be. So I made the commitment that I was going to tend to my inner child and be with her no matter how uncomfortable it was for me. Now healing is not linear. So I had good days and I had some really bad days. But whenever I had emotions to release, I felt them. I blessed my emotions. I let them flow to me. Now I started building my faith and I started getting closer to God because I knew in order for me to heal, I will need the power and the grace and the love of God. So I started reading the word of God. I started listening to um, sermons about faith, about God's love for me, because now I need to change the way I see myself into how God sees me. I need to align my vision with him and I need to align my thoughts with his thoughts. I started um, getting to know myself and what I love and what I enjoy doing that I have put off for so long because I was tending to my ex who became the center of my universe and I put all, all of my needs on a back burner. Now I figured out what I like doing so I started to do the things that I enjoy and that I love that brought me peace and joy. And last but not least and the most important thing is that during this time I didn't want to date. I didn't want to speak to another guy. I wanted to take myself out of um, the dating scene and you know having a relationship or having a partner because now I wanted to partner with myself. I wanted to be my very own best friend, my companion, my soulmate. I wanted to be that person to myself because I no longer wanted to rely on someone else for my own happiness. And when I decided to do that, that was the best decision I have made. And now I am whole and complete. And of course, whole and complete in Christ alone. And you could do the same too.